that was a lot of structures today. This roughly covers chapters 11 and 13 and a bit of chapter 14 in Finkelstein. He goes into a lot of detail about tetrahedra and helical stability, which is interesting if you're into the physics, but perhaps less important for the protein applications. Read it if you want to. As always, we've created a number of study questions for you that I look forward to discuss with those of you in Stockholm at least. And hopefully it will teach you both a little bit about peculiarities of protein structures and in particular the supersecondary structure elements. One important thing when it comes to learning here, I don't expect you to know the exact details of say what the enzyme in the tin barrel is doing or something. These names you can always look up. But what you should know by heart is things like the secondary structure elements. What is a Greek key? What is a Rossmann fold? Because those will show up again and again and again. And you will hear a colleague saying that, oh yeah, there is a typical Rossmann fold motif here, or there is a Greek key secondary structure element. And life is going to be unbearable for you in this area of research if you constantly have to look up things like that. And in particular, if you don't recognize that, oh, that motif is a Rossmann fold. You've seen that before. So make sure that you know the concepts by heart, but the specific applications for those the name is less important. Next lecture, we're going to head on to membrane proteins. That's going to be even more fun.